so what do we got here? This Look big. Where you guys are. There's a big branch. Got it. And it's yeah. Cracked, it's full of yeah, yeah. Right. So the question for you, Jeremiah, was what? So do you think that bark right there does that pop out at the lightning comes down to the tree, or did that whole thing rip off when this big piece yeah. came down? That like was superheated and it just blew off. It just popped, right? And the lightning strike. Just look at this place. It just there's this this mess just landed everywhere. It just blew up. Little pieces, sticks, pieces of bark, branches just broken into little tiny sticks all over the place. And then that whole top is just gone. And there's a good big piece of it right there. So, Mike, you lost the electricity? Yeah, we lost the, the breaker went on the pole out there. I got a backup generator, and that didn't, that didn't kick on. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And it, that got fried, too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so, the whole charge went through the house. Right. Wow. So all, all your electronics are, are shot? Yeah, everything that was connected up was, was shot. TVs, computers. No kidding. So it went through the ground, or you think it jumped over and side flashed over? The I think it went through the ground because there's, there's a tree down there that's got a big crack in it. And apparently the lightning came down and went through the ground and came up and cracked the base of that. Yeah, I had one house. The tree was a lot further away than that. What is that? That's only like 10, 12 feet max, right? What, from the house? Yeah. About five feet. No, that's a little more than five, but anyhow. So this tree might have been 15, 20, 25, and it went through the ground, caught the gas line. Did it really? And blew the gas line up and burned the house down. That's remember. I got a gas line right there because we had a grill. Yeah. I, got, I, I have to look at it. I'm, I'm afraid to get over there. The grill's underneath the tree there. I saw that, yeah. But there's a gas line on that. I gotta, I gotta remember to go shut that off. It's shut off right there, but I gotta shut it off. So there. your question was, what do you do to prevent this? Right? You either gotta put lightning protection in the tree, or take the tree down. When they're this close to the house, they they can side flash. They can just jump right over to that gutter or any, any type of metal conduit, anything at all, yeah. and just burn your house right to the ground. That's just no good. And you got a lot of tall trees around here, but that was the big boy, huh? That was. The yeah. yeah that's, uh, that was the big one. That, when I got a great big oak. Right there. There's a big white yeah, I mean, oak there. We got, we got a white oak there. We got, this guy's looking a little this thin one, here, but this, this is the. One, this one, I got to get the branches. This is the big one, boy here. Yeah, yeah, so. Me and my wife were going to get the, that trim on top. And we had a guy that was supposed to come do it, and he never came around. And every time we sat on the deck, we, we'd be looking up to him. A lot of dead branches up there. Yeah, yeah. Just, look, just look at this mess. My God. Yeah, just wiped everything out. Ten holes in my deck. Watch the, watch yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't be walking around under there, yeah. That's good. That's good cold, I built this stuff. Did you? Yeah. Beautiful. Me and my neighbor. Yeah. Are you much of a carpenter? Or no. No, I no, no, not. I not until after that, after, after I thought right? That thing's getting close to five feet in diameter. It's four and a half for sure. So, just devastation, man. It's just like pick up little sticks everywhere. Chimney's gone. I don't know if that was from the, probably, probably the chimney was a, a contact. Some of this wood just fell out of the sky on it. But let's look at this other streak here. And this is the clear sign that you've got a lightning strike there. It follows the grain, twists along the side of the tree there. So you can see that twisty grain and just look very closely at the look of this. Where it just tears that bark up like that. Yeah, baby. That's a big boy. Probably not going to take this one. If I had my way, I'd just dump the whole thing down in the woods there. And just let, it, let the chips fall where they may. I might still do that. But there's not much of a way to get a truck back here. Maybe stand in the hooks, cut it at 25 feet, 30 feet up. Just drop that top right in there. That'd be my, my method, but I don't think he's going to go for it. 
All right, just look at this mess. I mean, it's just everywhere. Devastation. Blew this tree apart. You know, I remember when I was a kid, there was one, <laughs> it was like a block away, there were still pieces of bark all over the place. So, I mean, there it is all just laying down in the yard there, branches over there. We got splinters up here, all over the place. All right, there it is. Nasty tree of the day.